guys welcome to this video so in this video it's kind of long awaited since i made that how to never land in spam for e-commerce and agencies doing cold outbound or e-commerce uh, brands sending out emails to their list this video has been the most highly requested and that's basically how to get your dkim dmark and spf set up this is uh the website of my video editor vince and i just ran basically a quick mx toolbox check on his uh, link and as you can see his dkim dmark and uh, SPF is not set up correctly. Uh, this is uh, his website. So if you know, if you're a YouTube entrepreneur, go hit him up. He's really good. Anyways, you can see his one is not set up. But if you look at my old domain uh, and I run a check on this, you can see that the DKIM, DMARC and SPF should be set up. Give it a second. As you can see, guys, uh, my domain, it says, you know, the, the SPF is effective and then DMARC and then also DKIM is validating. So how do you actually set this up? Well, super, super simple. So first of all, to set up your D, D mark, I believe, all you need to do is go into Google domains. So how you actually reach the screen is if you just Google Google domains on the search bar, hit domains, and then it'll take you to this page. You might need to log in. If you do, that's totally normal. Uh, so just log in and go into your domains, your list of domains and go into the relevant one, go down to DNS. I think this is called like dynamic name servers or something, if I remember my computer science from uh, high school. So as you can see, if you scroll down to custom records, you'll be able to see host name, type, TTL, data, etc., etc. So this is the custom record that enables me to have my DMARC verified. So to do this, you wanna hit ma manage records. And then if you guys don't have this currently, you wanna create a new record. So you want to hit create new record and then you want to do underscore DMARC for the host name. And then you want to select the type, which is TXT. And then for this one, you can just set it as uh, 3,600. It doesn't really matter. I believe 3,600 is like for one hour. Now, the next step is to copy and paste this line of code. Of course, you'll need to replace the boyan at busyacquisitions.com with whatever domain email you wish to send the DMARC report to. Uh, this is really, really important. Like, don't you fucking dare put my email or I swear to God, I'll find you and I will report you. Anyways, so they, they need the need a place to send the actual DMARC report to. So you wanna copy this. I'll leave this uh, line of code, or not really code, but I'll leave this line in the description of this video. So just scroll down and you'll be able to find it. Obviously change this email part and then you wanna hit save. So once that's done, you if you go back to Check MX uh, toolbox, you'll be able to see that your DMARC is now verified. On to the next step. So when it comes to dkim. So if you just go to admin.google.com, you'll be taken to this screen. You'll then wanna go to apps, and then from apps, you'll wanna access G Suite. Oh, sorry, now it's called uh, Google Workspace. So you wanna hit Google Workspace, hit Gmail, and then from Gmail, you wanna go to authenticate email. So this is where you can see the dkim authentication. You wanna choose the domain. I have multiple domains, so this is the one that I'm gonna be working on right now. And as you can see, uh, the status here, it says authenticating email. When you're first getting started, this will say not authenticating email, obviously. You wanna hit generate new record. Obviously, I'm not gonna generate a new record right now because I'm already validating this, but you wanna hit that and then you wanna select the 1224, 1024 bit key length, not all DNS records support 2048. And then you could just leave this uh, prefix here. doesn't really matter uh, as long as you know it's Google. So now what you want to do is you want to copy the DNS host name, uh, Google dot underscore domain key. And then you want to go back to your DNS settings. And then you want to go to Google Workspace. You can see that this is automatically copied and pasted over. I believe for Google Workspace now they do this automatically. It used to be that you need to do it manually. But let's say for example, if you bought your domain on GoDaddy and the name server's on GoDaddy, what you would do is you would go to the DNS, you would create a custom record and you would basically just insert this. So you would copy that as the host name, make the type TXT, uh, set it to TTL one hour, and then you would copy the data, like the chain of data that you see, you see here, right? It's called TXT record value. And you would do so in the custom name record section. So once that's done and you copied and pasted it over, you want to hit start authentication. Obviously it says stop for me because I'm already doing it. And it should immediately say authenticating emails, email up here. Now it might take some time for the changes to fully propagate through the servers. 
totally normal if it has an error, just check back in like 24 hours, but this is the correct way of validating your DKIM. Now, when it comes to your SPF, the way to verify it is basically if you have, if you host your domain on anywhere other than Google, you won't be able to do this automatically. However, to get it done, essentially you wanna to go to custom records and then for the host name, you just wanna put your domain name so it would just be domain.com or whatever, whatever. It's called, I believe, like the root domain or something. And then you wanna select, if I go to uh, manage custom records and I'll show you, do a demo. This type is SPF. So you wanna hit SPF and then da 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 dot com, right? Obviously, I'm not gonna save this one just cause it's, it's BS. But what you wanna do is you wanna copy this line of code right here. I'm gonna link this again down in the description below. And then once that's copied and pasted over, you'll also need to create a TXT record with the same text. Once you hit save, should be good to go. Now, to double check if your setup has worked or not, you wanna go to Google, the search bar, and then just search MX Toolbox. If you go to the one provided by Google, which is toolbox.googleapps.com, uh, and then you just enter your domain. So for example, if I were to check even one of my other domains, plethora.com, uh, it should say DKIM, DMARC, and uh, SPF is all verified. And the text that you are looking for is the following. The bits that you're looking for is effective SPF ranges, and it should pop up with a little uh, exclamation sign instead of a check mark. Then you should uh, look at the uh, D mark D Kim, and then also uh, the D Kim verification down here as well. So everything here should be a tick. If there's any yellow uh, exclamations or any red signs here, then you have an issue. And uh, what you could do if you wanna get some support on this is join my Facebook group down below. And then if you have troubles implementing this, just take a screenshot of what you're looking at and then post it in that group and I will give you personal one-on-one -on -one support. So yeah, for the best email marketing advice on the internet, not to suck my own <laughs> Uh, but just, you know, go into that Facebook group. I will be posting content. I know I said this a thousand times already, but I promise I will be more active in that Facebook group. So join it and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.